Noah, I want to welcome you because you're the only one who hasn't really been here. Oh. Craig has never done it on camera with us, but welcome. Yeah. In your last year. <laughs> We're so happy to have you here. I'm so happy welcome to, to the here. club. You have no idea oh. what Meg just did with her arms. It was amazing. Yeah. That's so nice. Oh. You're so welcome. Warm. <laughs> I kind yeah. of feel like we should be like pouring one out for Nikita right now. This is the last time. You have it. You have a drink. Oh, it's <laughs> Red Bull. Pour some Red Bull. It's supposed to be a 40. Pour dude. some Red Bull for your homies. Yeah. It's supposed to be out of some Red Bull. I know. We should be celebrating. Yeah. We should. No burgers. I hope you guys get to celebrate. It's been we quite will. a day for you, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah we will. Okay. No stories. Craig, today you talked a little about the final season and a plane was mentioned. Yes. Um, was that news to all of you guys? Had you heard that yet? And what do you think about about this. Uh, it's the lair in the air. Yeah. It's the lair. It's the lair. It's the lair. Lines. Lines. Yeah. Yeah. Lair lines. French. Lair lines. <laughs> what does that mean for Nikita? Because she's out on the run. I was just of. happy I didn't have to be. I'm not, I mean, You're I, not anywhere near I mean, that. I knew about the plane. I just, yeah. I was happy I didn't have to be there. <laughs> yeah. You'll end up on the plane, though. I know, but not right, right away. Right. You know. Is that a full season thing? I mean, the, the six episodes, is, or is it sort of at the well, start? That's what I they're mean, doing. I mean, we're not done breaking, you know, uh, okay. uh, them all. But um, yeah, I will say those like as we we've destroyed every single layer. Yeah, every single layer has gone Nothing down. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm sure this plane is 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 <laughs> sweating. It's going it. down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. 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 No, it cool. doesn't have a future. Yeah. Um, it I cannot be a Nikita interview without asking about Michael and Nikita together. They were not together at the end of the season. What do you guys know? What can you share about their status? Um, <laughs> Everything? I, well, I mean, we have one, I guess we have two scripts written, but we, we have the, the first script we're getting ready to shoot, and uh, it's three months later. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, obviously, you know, Nikita left Michael, left Team Nikita, <laughs> and, uh, and is, is trying to clear her name her way. And, you know, I don't think that things are gonna be very rosy right off the bat. And uh, this has happened too much to them. And uh, um, Michael's probably not in the best headspace right now. And it's hard to say where that's gonna go with only six episodes. So I know that that's kind of how the first two are gonna be, and maybe three, four, five, and six, but, um, it's going to be exciting to play and play off of each other at that. Maggie, you're out on your own. I am. Do you like that? It's sort of a callback to season one. I do. Before I mean, we I, knew that they were working together. I mean, we had, on some level, you kind of have to go back to that before you end it. You know, her on her own again, trying to figure it out. But this time it's so much more painful because she knows what it means to have this and be happy. And, you know, that foundation was built. Whereas in the beginning when we saw her, she really had nothing. I mean, there was no ally. There was no, there was no sense of family. There was no love. There was none of that. So once you've had it and you lose it, it becomes something very different. That dynamic is harder. It's it's more painful. Um, she Nikita, as as usual, is convinced that she's done the right thing. But I, I mean, the way that I see it, obviously, is you know once these people that you love that much are in danger, I don't think it became. It was a choice for her, mm -hmm. and it was you know Craig when they broke that sort of three episodes out before the end. You know, when, when Amanda was going to put her in, in this position and that decision was made, that was it. I and mean, there was no choice to be made. She cannot endanger these people. That's not, some, that's not who she is. And so, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard to get. Michael's upset, obviously. We, mm. we see them, they see each other right away. Right. Not right yeah. away, I mean, not in the first minute of it, but the first episode. Yeah. Which I was actually like, oh, wow, great, they're gonna see each other already. Already, yeah. we, Well, we have six episodes, but. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sooner than two would have is, And in, in typical Michael and Nikita fashion, they feel everything and say nothing. Mm -hmm. um, Aaron and Noah, your characters are so kind of tied to division. I mean, that's been basically their entire life through the span of the show. What does it mean for them now that that's kind of no longer existing? Well, we're still the brains. <laughs> They're the brawn. Yeah. We're still the same setup. And yeah. we're, we are going to be in the in mobile the layer in the air, mm -hmm. overseeing mm -hmm. them. Yeah. And, uh, they changed the name of the team to Team Ryanoff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like not it. here. She can't. She's got her into it. That's yeah, going to be going to tweet that. Ryanoff. Yeah. 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 Bur Birkin. 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 We're a good team. Right <laughs> That'll us. be Amanda. <laughs> right <laughs> um, Lindsay, what can you say about Alex besides that they're looking for Nikita and they want to kind of bring her back? She's started going on her own path mm -hmm. with the 
is it United Nations or something mm -hmm. she was working with in the end of the season? Yeah, there's, she's definitely, uh, the goal is to help clear Nikita's name as well. I mean, that's definitely the um, number one priority. And she's going about it using her connections to find the shop and do things in a way that um, because of her kind of public status, she can do that the others can't. And then they're doing their work. And then also she's out there working with the UN and, and trying to stop human trafficking and kind of coming to terms with uh, how to kind of uh, feel grounded in that kind of new public persona. It I seems guess. like that could be a little cathartic for her because it's a little bit full circle too where it kind of rectifies yeah, but, her past as a... Mm -hmm. as but a, now it's different than it's ever been. You okay. know, she's really like totally taking charge, accepting it and using it to her benefit and for everyone else, including Nikita. Awesome. Now, Melinda, this one is for you and everyone. Amanda has been such a thorn in everyone's side since the beginning. I think it would be really fun if you guys all discussed or threw out there how Amanda should ultimately meet her demise. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine it hasn't been you, thought you about. Had, you, had this, you brought up the subject last year. <laughs> you brought it up. You said she was definitely dying last That's season. That's Last year. No, you said, do you think, you, you said you thought I might, and I said, well, it's designed to die. So I, <laughs> you I, were I, definitely, definitely dying. I assumed it was. Craig <laughs> said 85, 90 yeah. percent chance. I mean, that's, you know, I was, yeah. I, I was moving on. I mean, do you ever dream about how she's going to go out and blaze Oh, yeah, we've talked, I'm sure we've talked about all kinds of things. I mean, at one point we threw out the idea that maybe she does it. You know, I, have, I always like try to ground her in, in some kind of humanity and love, you know, mm -hmm. as, as misguided as it is. <laughs> but, um, you know, at one point I thought maybe she'll, she'll die saving Nikita. And then I was like, eh. I probably wouldn't have <laughs> That'd be too out of character. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's where, because I don't think of her as a villain, I think of her as, you know, but, but then, so this, after these last few episodes, it's kind of hard not to think of her as a villain. Yeah. I don't know. Anyone I'm else? Sure so. How? Mm -hmm. I don't know, Greg. Well, I, think. <laughs> I mean, I, we haven't figured anything out like that, but, you know, she was born in the fire, so maybe she should die in the fire. <gasps> Yeah. This is how. Yeah. This is how. <laughs> this is how it ends. Um, I think uh, you know. For me, I, I think more than spectacular, or if it needs to. For, super violent, it, right? <laughs> it's, not, it's not about the. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not, not about, about the actual, like the way Percy died. No, it, yeah. I, I think it has to have some kind of emotional connection because that's what it's. Strap something. you in a chair and give Bark off a claw hammer. Yeah. 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 Taste your yeah. medicine. I like that, um, Craig. Just kind of in closing. What can you say about the actual finale? Not spoilers, but is it a satisfying conclusion? Is it a real conclusion? Are things left open-ended? Uh, it's going to come to a to a conclusion. Uh, try to as much of a conclusion as possible. Perfect. All right, guys. That's Thank it. You. Thanks, Thank you Meg. Hi, I'm Allison Bray. And I'm Joel McHale. And subscribe to ENT TV. It's just ENTV for all your entertainment news. No, it's E E N T V. It's just E N T V, so whatever. It's E N E N T E V E. Unless it conflicts with any thing, channel or company we work for. I'm out in the break. Signing off.